little world, Lisa Fredrickson, your friend and computer science professor with another short screencast about access. And we're using the Northwind Traders sample database in this playlist series. In the first video, when I introduced this playlist, I showed you how I like to organize my navigation pane. And that is by object type so that I can see the tables and the queries and the forms and reports, macros and modules all organized by object type. But when you create the Northwind database and other templates that Microsoft provides, you may see an interesting way of organizing the objects in the navigation pane. And that is a custom way where you see these categories such as admin for administration or everything that deals with customers. And you notice the icons are a little bit different. Instead of just the icon for a table or a form or a query, you see these little arrows, which means it's a pointer to that object, not the actual object itself. And so if you're like me, you'll just go back to object type and be done with it and then close the navigation pane. Typically, you don't want your users working with the objects in the navigation pane because you don't want them to accidentally delete or modify something that they shouldn't be working in. But as the developer, obviously, you want access to everything. Now, under File, Options, under Startup, you can even hide the navigation pane if you want with this startup option. You can take the navigation pane away from all users if you want. But as you know, again, from the first YouTube in this playlist, you can hold the shift key down while you start the database and override all those startup options. Now we see this custom Northwind Traders 2.0 way of organizing the navigation pane. You know my preference for object type. There's also tables and related views, which means it's organized by table. So everything that has to do with the employees table is organized in a section. Everything that has to do with the customer's table, products table, that's the tables and related views option. Created date can be very handy because it organizes your object by the date they were created. So if you're having trouble finding something, sometimes it's nice to sort them by created date or by modified date so that the things that you have worked on last float to the top. Now, once you've chosen a way to organize all the objects in this top section, then you'll notice that there's also a filtering section. I like to leave this on all access objects so I can see everything. Every once in a while, something else gets selected, such as queries, and you come into your database and you're like, wow, where did my forms and reports go? And the answer is that the navigation pane is organized in a filtered way instead of looking at all access objects. Now, everything I've been doing so far, I've simply been clicking this down arrow to organize the objects in the navigation pane. You can also right click the bar on top of the navigation pane and, and choose things this way. And sometimes it's fun to sort the objects in ascending or descending order by name or by type or by created date or by modified date, again, to find something or view them by details. Now, if, when we view them by details, we get all this information about each object. To me, I like to view them as a list so that I can see more objects in the navigation pane. Now, to modify this navigation pane, you right-click it and go into Navigation Options. And here is where you can create a new category for yourself. So, for example, I could add one and just call it my category. Now, within a category, I can add a group. So this might be customer reports or product reports, whatever your groups you want to organize. And then once you have a new category and its groups, then you can choose it over here on the navigation pane. Here's my Lisa, and I've got all of these unassigned objects, but my customer reports, let's see, let's go all the way down to the reports. If I wanted to add this product report, I could drag it to that group, and now I've got a little pointer, a link to the report sales by product. Another way to add an object to a group is to right-click it. I'm going to right-click the report invoice and then add to group. I'm going to add that to the customer reports group. So once I get my groups set up that Lisa needs, I could go back into my navigation objects and go into my Lisa group and uncheck the unassigned objects because I really don't want to give her access to everything. 
just these two categories and click OK. And now I've got a custom navigation pane for just that one employee. So knowing how to work with this navigation pane is critical when you're working with the Northwind Traders database or any of the complicated templates that Microsoft Access provides. It's also critical for you as an application developer to be able to change these options, find and manage the objects that you're working with. And lastly, it's a great tool to help simplify and put a light blanket of security on the database for different users. Thank you.